You know, it's times like these where I'm glad I don't watch just Sasuke. So Sasuke 40 had trials. It, we've been asking for trials for years. We got them back. We could have done without them. <laughs> this is not good. So essentially, they got 500 hopeful competitors to compete in the trials. There were five rounds, and they would downsize after each round. It went from 500 to 100 to 40 to 20 to 10 to a potential three people, potential three people, to go on to the actual Sasuke 40 tournament. And I just, I knew it was coming. I knew, I knew that the challenges would not be anything relating to Sasuke until the very end. But why? To break it down, you had push-ups, a thousand meter run that you had to do three different times, um, a tire push, beach flags, and then you did a an incredibly nerfed stage one. And when I say incredibly nerfed, I mean there's no dragon glider, there's no tackle, the double warped wall is just a single warped wall, and there's no silk slider. So this is a course that you should realistically be able to do in about 40 seconds. I'm getting a little too ahead of myself right now, uh, so let's let let's back up a little bit. The first round was push-ups. Everyone was split into five different groups of 100, and then they narrowed it down to 20 people per group. So you'd think that all 100 people would just do push-ups, and the 20 remaining, aka the 20 strongest, would go on to the next round. But no! I love it! Instead, they broke that group of 100 into groups of 10s and two per group would move on and someone who did 200 push-ups just, just did not do good. They, they didn't make it. All because of their stupid way they broke up the things. It's dumb. It's dumb. The run made sense. You would run a thousand meters and you would eliminate a handful of people after. It was a good episode, honestly, for the most part. The tire push was a little interesting, but I think the thing that really gravitated me towards that episode was the fact that it was shocking results. The event itself is boring. It's a, it's, it's boring. But there were a lot of big names that I were expecting to make it to at least the final 10 or qualify for Sasuke 40 itself, and they lost in the third round of five, and that was pretty entertaining to be fair. Beach flags was a mistake. Here you have 20 competitors, and instead of doing a mass beach flags for entertainment values, with all 20 people or two groups of 10, you're having them do 1v1s and it's just the most underwhelming, boring piece of media to consume in terms of trials, especially as a semi-final matchup. That was terrible. I think it would have been great to see 20 people stampeding or groups of 10 people stampeding towards a bunch of flags. It just, it just looks cooler and it also makes sure that the 10 objectively better competitors are advancing to stage one light. And then the course happened. Um, the course was pretty easy. The artist thing, honestly, was the dang fishbone. And the 10 competitors just, just sucked. So basically the way it worked was a maximum of three people who clear the course, keyword clear the course, could advance to Sasuke 40. So if four people cleared, whoever got fourth place, the slowest time on, on clearing, didn't make it and only the top three would. If one person cleared the course, then only that person goes on to Sasuke 40. Spoilers for the trials. Two people cleared. Everyone else, the eight other people, choked. They failed the rolling hill. They failed the fishbone in like three different ways. Two people messed up on the warped wall. I was just like, oh. Now look, I understand that not everybody can build replicas of Sasuke in their backyard. I understand as well that there are not many ninja gyms in Japan, at least not officially licensed by the show or anything. But this sucked and they suck. There, we, we basically just picked up two extra people to fail the dragon glider in 40. If they fail the fishbone kai or the dragon glider, I get to say I told you so to all of you. Because there are essentially no transferable skills from push-ups, running, a tire push, and beach flags to Sasuke. The closest you get is pushing that tire and then the tackle. But even then the tackle is 10 times heavier than the tire. They really messed up. And I'm tired of, of trying to think that doing push-ups or pull-ups is like, it means that they're gonna do great on Sasuke. Cause it's it's not, it's it's a horrible metric to go by. It's, it's horrible. I also think that all of these events could have just been in a one and a half to two hour special 
because they were all moving relatively quickly. The way they edited the challenges themselves was pretty fast. Beach Flags took maybe 10 to 15 minutes total, and the episode is about 33 minutes. Why? Because they threw in a bunch of studio garbage. It was basically two girls, Yuji, Hiyoki, and this one dude just reacting to the finished footage. That was so dumb. If you want to do Sasuke reacts, then just put it on your dang YouTube channel, man. Those segments essentially tripled the length of each episode for no reason. And we could have just had all of the trials in one action-packed special instead of five kind of mediocre episodes. Now, don't get me wrong. There were parts that I really liked. Like I said, I liked the marathon. Parts of the tire push were good, and honestly, as uh, as sad as I was to see some of my favorites go, Beach Flags had interesting results. But man, was the bar low to get into Sasuke, and these people still did not exceed that bar. I've been saying it to people for a while, there are better ninja shows than Sasuke now, and I guess that applies to their specials as well. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh on it right now, but I am gonna give it a five or six out of 10 and I don't see it going any higher than that. So the Sasuke 40 Trials, did you guys watch it? If you didn't, uh, join my Discord server, we got it for you. So um, just just be ready, man. Just be ready, because Sasuke 40 is coming. It's gonna be the same exact thing that we've all expected for the last couple of years. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and interested in my content. Hopefully, we get some more positive reviews coming in for Sasuke 40 or reactions when the time comes, but we'll see.